I'm home cold, she's standing trial. Why ain't I see you round back when I was So down. Biggie was being investigated at the time right. by the NYPD and the IRS. Correct. Why? So I, as far as I can, I mean, there's a lot of different reasons it could have been, uh-huh. but there, there was an NYPD detective with their major crimes unit who had him under surveillance in LA in the days leading up to the murder. Right. And his, um, he claimed that it was based on a raid that had happened at Biggie's home, mm-hmm. that it started with a parking violation and blew up into a drug raid because the cop that knocked on his door to say, you got to move these vehicles, smelled marijuana smoke. And that led to a raid on his house and they found guns and marijuana and that and this detective from New York claimed that that sounds like a small thing but in his experience in law enforcement sometimes little things like that are the tip of the iceberg and he says if you kind of start pulling that thread sometimes you find out there's something bigger going on that's bullshit and so that's so, that was his ex- that was his <laughs> excuse bullshit. yeah that's bullshit <laughs> yeah, yeah. because that sounds like some hip hop police shit because that's basically what it was yeah yeah that's yeah. right it doesn't make sense i think he was like one of those original de- yeah. william oldham i think he was one of those original you know hip hop cops yeah and who guys, and who right. approved the man hours for him to do right. that so we find some, <laughs> some you know personal use marijuana in new and, york and we're going to, you know, okay the budget right. to pay you to follow him to and LA. And Bad Boy sense. wasn't doing anything out here. They were yeah. just promoting and going to parties mm-hmm. and recording videos and going on the radio. Like, they weren't... Mm-hmm. These guys are watching them do nothing yeah. illegal, basically. So, right, yeah, right. It was a total waste. I and it's, yeah. it's such a... I mean, you know, I hate to say it. Well, I don't hate to say it, but it <laughs> is. It's, it's, a, it's a racial component there, too. Because sure. my thing is, you know, they work, in essence, for Arista. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, you know, they're being funded by Arista. So if there's if you're going to investigate something, you know, go to the office of Arista and, and say, hey, what, are y'all paying these people? You know, how are they right. doing what they're doing or whatever the case may be? Sure. You know, so that in itself is bullshit. But, mm-hmm. you know, I digressed a bit. But um, so but long that, story short, they were out here, yeah. whether it was for legitimate reasons yeah, or not. Yeah. They had them under surveillance. Okay. Uh, they had them under surveillance the night before the murder outside mm-hmm. the Soul Train Awards. Mm-hmm. In fact, this detective posed as a photographer mm-hmm. and got on the, the red carpet mm-hmm. uh, there at the event. <laughs> actually. Yeah, it's crazy, right? Really? Yep. Crazy over some weed. That's crazy. Over some weed. Personal. That's <laughs> okay. And I don't. What was he gonna? F- I don't. What is he gonna see at a? At a I don't know what he thought he was going to see in a red carpet. At a red carpet. At a step, at a step so you can right. see some like illegal activity happen in front of all the camera. I don't understand. Yeah, like, that what? doesn't make sense. I, it may have just, although I guess in his perspective, it may have been, let's see who their associates are. Okay. That's usually what it's about. It's let's see who who are they yeah. meeting up with. Yeah. That's how they try to create they, conspiracies. Exactly. But even on the step and repeat, right. you're not going to get like crime associates. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> you're going to get whatever celebrities. Exactly. You know what I mean? right. Yeah. That's right, crazy. Right. 